According to our format, <coughs> we will need a motion to either approve, <coughs> approve with the conditions, or deny. Mr. Chairman. Yes. I move uh, the application be denied. Mr. Chair, if I may interrupt, the, 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 it's a recommendation for those, not Yes, not that, yes uh, I realize that. Is it a do pass or a do not pass that we would forward to the commission? Well, or, uh, or a pass with conditions. So uh, yes. recommend for approval, recommend for approval with commission, uh, conditions, or recommend for denial. And I think that, uh, you know, we all probably have our own ideas. But I think that uh, we might be able, and we can discuss it, that we may be able to come up with a proposal to approve with certain conditions that have to be met by a certain day. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I'd change my motion to be exactly that. Okay, let's decide on what the conditions would be. My suggestion is that the conditions would be uh, the applicant provide proof of compliance by reports from the state construction industries, the fire marshal, and the uh, food service or health permit people. Environmental department. Environmental department. Or pertaining to the food concept, elimination of the appearance or actual operation of a restaurant by eliminating such things as menus, food storage, stoves with pilots lit, etc. And then the other thing, addressing any and all other issues identified as violations of laws or ordinances. And these conditions to be implemented in how many days? I'm open to discussion about that. Uh, you know, we could say two years and that'd be a little long. Thirty days might be a little short. I would, I would think that that uh, the conditional use permit wouldn't be able to be used until everything was brought into compliance. Period. Mm -hmm. But within a time frame, I'm thinking forty-five days. I mean, we don't want this to drag on. It's been going on for some time. It seems like. Uh, would our council have any thoughts on that? We have people coming and going there that are exposed to those. Uh, hazards that are identified by the fire marshal and the state construction, construction industries and for us to say oh it's okay to go on along it's really not up to us it's up to them they probably have rules that say once we notify you you have to do it by a certain time so let's leave it to the statute or laws that apply to construction industries and fire marshal and so forth and it's your recommendation to make to to the commission, uh, and it sounds like one possible recommendation would be that the the, the conditions be satisfied um, before the business continues to operate in in the manner it's operating. Thank you, Dolfo. Mr. Chairman. I would second that motion. Let's repeat the motion. Adolfo, would you help us with the way to word it so that we'll all be on the right page? Well, I'll, I'll state what I heard. Okay. And, and, and if I didn't get it right, then obviously it's your place to fill, let me know. Uh, but I heard that it sounds like uh, the, this body is, has a motion to um, recommend approval with conditions and that the conditions be satisfied um, prior to the continued operation of, uh, or actually prior to the issuance of the condition use permit, and that the conditions be that uh, the applicant, applicant uh, provide uh, proof from the state agencies, including CID, um, the fire state fire marshal, uh, the New Mexico Environment Department, uh, and, the, uh, and the other violations identified um, within 45 days, otherwise the, the condition use permit would not be issued. And 
it's not up to us to say that you got to close down tonight or next week. Correct. This, so this would be a recommendation to the commission for commission's action, and I believe it would be scheduled for the the tenth. April tenth. April tenth. Yes. The commission's meeting at the tenth, and that 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 would give. That's for a full public hearing, so Mr. Yeah. Michelle would have the opportunity to once again. So, uh, Bill, do you agree with your motion as, as stated by council? I'm thinking about uh, 45 days. Uh, the commission is going to act before that. Correct? Yes. Next week. Week from today. No, two weeks. Two, two weeks? Or two no, the commission is next Three week. weeks. Yeah. April 10th is yes. when the public hearings yes. occur. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So there's the. Yeah. yeah. Correct. The uh, fire marshal and the um, constructing industries people already have a uh, what a, uh, a time, time limit in place already, right? Uh, yes, sir. Excuse me. They said it was 30 days from the day that I received the report, which was today. So I presume by 30 days from today. Do you think you can get that stuff done in 30 days? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Steve. Chair. Uh, Mr. Michelle is saying he's just received this report today, apparently, with our package. Uh, and these are state agencies. So, uh, so that means he has not gotten it from them. He has not gotten it from the state agency, apparently. And it's up to them to enforce their, you know, their notice of violations and no actions. So, uh, and it just seems kind of strange to me that if they issued a notice of violation for him on these things, that they didn't take him right there on the spot. Of course, I wasn't present. Uh, yes? I'm sorry. I did have some communication with Jason Trumbull, and he, he indicated that he does have 30 days to respond to his, his report. I think what we can do to the, with the motion is uh, use the time limit of the agencies involved. That sounds reasonable. I agree. So <clears throat> let's have the motion has changed and here how it says. Alright. <laughs> so uh, the third time's a charm. Um, yeah, so just amend it to, to delete the forty five days um, with the uh, so within the time frame required by the various um, issuing agencies. Bill, is that your motion? Yes. Bill, here's second. I second. We will have a roll call vote. Um, Ron? Yes. Bill? Yes. Michael? Yes. I'll vote yes. I'll also vote yes. Motion is carried. Um, it'll be a new pass with conditions as stated to the commission. Thank you, sir. Did you know? That should give you the opportunity to make it work. I'll do my very best. I appreciate you. Mr. Chair, if I just may make it clear to make sure that the applicant is aware, this isn't a final decision. This is a recommendation to the county commission. There will be a full public hearing before the county commission where you'll be able to once again present your information uh, staff will also again present its information board
with the recommended approval as stated, with the conditions as stated. Uh, and then the final action will be by the county commission itself. Okay. And that would be that's scheduled for, for April 10th. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. If there's no further business, we can accept the motion to adjourn. Our motion we adjourn. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Meeting adjourned. And thank everybody for coming. And thank you.